welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. I am not sure if you guys seen the last episode, but you guys probably seen that I was up at Red Lake. I am now just leaving JR's Corner. And yeah, I am on my way to another bite. I haven't been home in about a week and a half now. I've just been kind of traveling from lake to lake, spending a few days at each lake. But anyways, we've got a really dope video for you guys today. You can probably see it down below in the title. We are hopefully going to be crushing some smallmouth through the ice. So I'm actually going with my buddy Matt Newell. He owns a guide service in the Bemidji area and this is one of the lakes that he guides at. So yeah, huge shout out to Matt for making this video happen. I'll be leaving all of his info linked down below in case one of you guys want to, you know, book a trip with him. Anyways, y'all, I got about an hour drive only. Uh, I just have to make like one stop at a store or grocery store or something like that and yeah, we'll be fishing in no time. Stay tuned. I'm really excited. In a line, in a time when I really like fields. Movie, movie, jiggy, scooby. At the stop sign, turn right onto State Highway 7. In 1.2 miles, turn left onto County Road 35. Okay, I got you, girl. Another lake. Oh shit. Don't get stuck. Okay, we see the fish house. I cannot believe I haven't gotten stuck yet. I can't see shit. That's like a 67 yeah. pounder, dude. Dude, I wish I had an off of you. Yeah, you can see it on the line. It's like a, it's like a 67 pounder. Oh my god. <laughs> we'll catch him. He's on I my screen. He's huge, yeah. I see he's, him. Yeah, he's, he's swimming. Giant. <laughs> dude, no way. Oh, we got one. A little hooked up. No way. No way. Not. Don't even have a line in the water yet. Hooked up on a smallie. They fight just as hard in the winter Dude, as they do in the summer. What the hell? It looks nice. Nice job. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What? Smallies through the ice. <laughs> oh my god. I'm shaking. I didn't even either. catch it. Before I finally drop a line, let's get an epic release on that guy. How far down typically do the smallies come in just like the go right up on them? Yeah, like yeah. a foot, foot and a half. I forget how shallow it is, like four cranks and they're coming through <laughs> yeah. the Right? Got a nice gill on me. Yeah. On. On. <laughs> Dude, I haven't sight fished in so long. It's just it's a little fun. guy. Look at that, dudes. Oh, he didn't like it. You didn't? Nope, I think I got too aggressive with it, but holy shit, Matt. <laughs> that yeah, that was so cool. <laughs> you got him? Yeah. No way. Big oh, oh. <laughs> got him. Oh, there he goes. Oh my god, that thing's huge. 
Oh, there he is. Hey, you Mary. Giant. 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 This is one of the oh big, my God, big yeah. ones. Oh my no. God. Dude. Oh. That was a giant. Did yeah. you see him? Yeah. It was huge, like wasn't it? Yes. It was huge. I suppose you probably mislaid due to the rod or what? Like no. just because we're using noodles? Just because you don't get them buried and they fight so hard. Welcome back, y'all. Matt and Will just took off and I officially have this sick little house to myself for... Pretty much the next two days. I'll give you guys a little tour of this house too in just a second. But really quick, I have not had time to express how freaking excited I am for this video. I have been looking for a smallmouth ice fishing bite like the past five, six years. I've never done it. I've gotten one smallmouth through the ice my entire life and that was like two winters ago. So when I seen Will catch that smallmouth, that huge smallmouth, by the way, I was literally shaking, like so excited. No fooling too, we've seen at least like 10 to 15 smallies to the past hour. Matt did mention that the bite probably won't be too hot now just because it's so late in the day. It's like almost, or it's getting dark right now. But he did say that tomorrow morning when I wake up, it's gonna be a pretty good bite window for the smallmouth all the way until like three o'clock. I mean, obviously I could catch some smallmouth tonight, but it's sounding like the best bite is going to be tomorrow. But that's totally fine because we are sleeping out here tonight. And like if I catch a smallmouth the size of Will's that will make my entire year. And this will probably be the like my favorite video ever. <laughs> Anyways, let's really quick give you a small tour of this house. Uh, even though it's a, probably the smallest house I've been in this year, this is like one of my favorites. It's like super cozy. Right when you walk in the door, we got just, you know, small little kitchen area here. We got a three burner stove. Matt's got a TV in here with the DVD player. You could rip some TV. Got the battery for the lights up there. It's got uh, just two lights, no generator tonight. Uh, I'm gonna be pretty much just powered by my Dakota Lithiums all night. Right next to the door, we got the nice wall heater. And then right next to the wall heater, we got my bunk. Also another bunk up here, but we're not gonna be needing that. Table here, hole here, hole here, hole here, hole here, hole here, and hole here. Dang, this little thing's got six holes. And that's basically it. It's pretty small. Like I said though, I do not care. It is super cozy and I'm just gonna have a kick-ass time. Anyways, stay tuned y'all. I'm going to just now get all my stuff, like all my camera equipment, like kind of dialed just so like, just so like I'm ready in case I'm like mark a fish or something. Yup, you know the drill. Cracks on, or we're not even fishing. Huge shout out to JR's Corner Access up at Red Lake. I'm about to uh, heat up my lunch from this morning. It's about to be lit. I honestly don't think I've ever pan fried leftovers, but we're gonna try it. It's honestly working better than I expected. It's like almost done already. And the fries are nice and getting nice and crispy. Fries are done, but I'm gonna let these just get a little bit more crispy. Next time you're at JR's, get the drummies. I've had fried fish the past seven days in a row. Like, literally. I've had fried fish the past week every single day. Probably gonna die soon. What I'm trying to say is that was the best meal I've had the past week. Like, that was so friggin' bomb. <laughs> Yeah. Forgot I put these in here. I'm getting antsy for morning. I'm sure you guys are too, since we're not catching anything. So I'm about to set an iFish Pro because there's only one rattle reel uh, with a hole drilled. There's one here, but there's not a hole drilled in that hole. So yeah, I'm gonna set up an iFish Pro and have one rattle reel. And I'm about to hit the hay just so I can get up nice and early tomorrow. Stay tuned, y'all.
Good morning, dudes. I can't do that. The light's too bright, but it is just now getting bright out. I'm about to throw, throw the panfish rod back down and, yeah, let's try to catch a smallmouth. Well, it's honestly... Whoa. God damn it. It's still pretty dark out, but... I'm gonna still get this ready. Here's what I'm thinking. Go like this. Bam. Now I can lay down and sight fish once I see a mark. These things are definitely starting to move through. I just had two down there at once. I didn't do it though. While y'all were sleeping last night, I engineered this together. Underwater camera! <laughs> Point it towards my bait. Alright. Hopefully we can see a smallmouth with that. nice I think like really nice I seen it it's a good smallie good smallie good smallie for smallie and I have underwater footage I think no way Second smallmouth ever through the ice, and it is a brute, and I'm pretty sure I got underwater footage of that. Oh my god. I really hope I got underwater footage of this thing. If I did, this is about to be lit. Ah! Hey Joe, we got some dope pictures. Let's go ahead and get a graceful release on this guy. Yeah, I was about to say, you're only out of the water for 30 seconds. Dude. <laughs> I gotta check that underwater camera. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right away, I put the camera down there. It's just sitting here. Check it out, yo. I was sitting here eating my breakfast and i was like how the heck can i make it so this hole stops freezing so i went in my truck and grabbed a towel i think this is gonna work please please come back where's my phone Giant, 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 giant. Get this towel out of here. Giant, dudes. Okay. Giant. Like, legit giant. Oh, baby. Come on. Come on. Please stay pinned. <gasps> no. Got one. Please. Come on. Oh my God. Come on. Come on. Come on, it's big. It's big. Oh 
Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. This is so hard, dude. So hard. Oh, God. I'm shaking, dude. Please. 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 Come on. Oh my god, it's huge. It's huge. It's huge. Oh my god. I'm not talking anymore. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, dude! Let me get this stupid thing out of my mouth. Oh my god! What the frick? <laughs> Finally! Oh my god, dude! That is. <laughs> I don't know, four, four and a half, five pounds maybe? Holy shit. That's a freaking stud, dudes. <laughs> what the hell? Let's go, big guy. Oh my god, I want to feel him kick. Yeah. Oh my god. That was so badass. Giant. Legit giant. Come on. Oh my god. Back. Yep. This one's gonna get off for sure. Okay, maybe not. It was all wrapped up in my deucer. I'm sure it'll get off though, because I suck at fishing. And it's huge. Oh my god, it's not huge, it's in the hole. <laughs> Smallest fish of the day, but awesome still. Like that one came right in. Uh, he actually passed me a little bit. I started lowering my jig. And then he came up, started nosing it, gave it one little tap, and shabang! I'm also sure you guys seen it with the underwater camera, if it's on still. Hey! A little two-pounder for the boys? What? Legit smallest one yet, and still awesome. Bye, Felicia! Well, dudes, it is getting pretty dark. You can, like, barely even see bottom. And last night, around this time, all the way up until this morning, I only marked, uh, I think, like, three fish, and they did not do it. Holy buckets, though, did we get some awesome fish today. Like, this day is gonna go down in the books, for sure. 100% uh, funnest fishing trip of the year for me so far. So, uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this one. You guys want to possibly come stay in this fish house or, like, book a trip with Matt? I will, uh, leave all of his info linked down below. He actually has a snow bear, too, that he guides out of, like, throughout the winter. If you guys don't know what a snow bear is, it's pretty much like a fish house like this, but it's, like, got tracks on it, and it's like a, it's like a half van, half snowmobile type thing. <laughs> so, yeah, all of his stuff will be linked down below. New Fish and More merch. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, go check that out. And all the people that have purchased the Fish and More merch, gracias. I appreciate you. You guys have been freaking crushing it lately, which is dope because it helps me travel around and keep camping in these dope fish houses. Anyways, y'all, I think that's it. Stay tuned for next video. Peace out.